So every once in a while there's a game that comes out that gets a lot of really good reviews and it's really amazing to play, but I never play it. And this is one of those games. It's a game called Universe Sandbox 2. And isn't it amazing? Look at this. I've got I've got the whole earth like in well not in my fingertips because it's game but I've got it like in control where I can where I can edit things I can change its mass to you know two times earth size and now it's two times and then 20 times bigger and then it's like almost as big as well the Sun that might be a long ways away or you know it's 35 times bigger than Jupiter <laughs> and it turned into a gas giant hey <laughs> that's actually kind of cool uh oh oh I turned it into three times bigger than the sun. Is it gonna, is it gonna burn? Uh, Kelvin, let's turn it to Celsius. 400 degrees Celsius, interesting. So it's not, it's not really on fire yet, but it's really hot. Uh-oh, I, I might have done, I might have made it into a black hole. <laughs> Whoopsies, I'm sorry, Earth. I didn't, I didn't mean to make you into it. Oh my word, it's a giant black hole now. Oh, and it's sucking in, did you see that? Oh, here comes Saturn. I bet Saturn's gonna come into it. Oh yeah, Saturn just got ripped apart. <laughs> and, and it goes right into, oh, Jupiter just got pulled in. And there goes Uranus, Uranus will be coming in. Oh, there's fragments. That's amazing. I think we're, we're about to get destroyed. <laughs> Too bad you can't see, I mean, it's a black hole. You can't really see. Oh look, there's a giant black hole. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, don't worry, Pluto's fine out here. All by it, nope, Pluto's even gonna be sucked into the, whoop. And it, never mind, there it went. <laughs> nope, that is Pluto. Oh, cool! Look, it's got the new uh, model on it from uh, that rover that passed by, or the the picture takers satellite thing. And right before Uranus hits our giant black hole of Earth, let's drop this down in size. There, I made it uh, the size of Earth again, sort of. Thirteen Earths. How about there? One point three Earths. And I don't know what's gonna happen now. That's kind of weird. We just shrunk a black hole into itself. I don't think we can quite unblack hole the black hole. I think we are now stuck with a permanent black hole uh, that just destroyed everything. Whoopsies. One thing I always thought would be fun to do in real life um, is well, terraform Mars, except I'll never have the money, finances, or time to do it. So I thought we'd try it today. Oh, there, there's Mars. Hey, Mars, how are you today? Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Looks like we already have some ice on the top. What is our what is our water ratio here? Water, zero kilograms. I think that's probably the main thing. We gotta get water and temperature, and then we probably need like uh, the magnetic field. So if I remember correctly, I think Europa has a lot of water. Let's uh, put Europa here in orbit around Mars. Wow, that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, Europa's got some some decent water to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ram Europa right into Mars. This should work pretty good, I think, if I took the launch and we go, come bingo. Oh, <laughs> wow. that was a massive explosion. Oh, look, hey, we changed things. We changed things. We, how's the temperature look? Now it's four times bigger than the moon. Climate, 130 degrees Celsius. Okay, did we get any more water to it? A little bit, 1% water. That actually might be enough. Now we just have to see if, uh, if this climate stays and we, we don't burn off the atmosphere. So we do have a problem. Uh, it has no magnetosphere, which is probably why Mars lost its atmosphere in the first place. We're gonna have to increase that, but I don't know what to increase it to. We should maybe match what it is on Earth. Oh, look, we have all the different fragments here too. That's awesome. The fragments of Europa just blasting through space. We also knocked it off uh, its orbit just a little bit. So that's what the magnetosphere should look like, something like that. We have uh, 2.38 radii with a 0 0.3 Gauss, uh, whatever that means. So if I turn on a uh, three, that's good. And then the Gauss, was that about right? I think it was 0 0.3. Cool, check it out. We gave it some magnetosphere. Now the climate is still cooling from that gigantic asteroid strike. We still have like a massive amount of heat over here. Didn't seem to break the planet in, into pieces, which could have happened if we hit it with something bigger. So I think it's time to just speed it up and see what happens. Go, go, go. Okay, uh, it just it just cooled way down. Uh, it needs to be hotter. Let's drop this down. This is the reflection. There we go, it's heating up. So it's gonna absorb more sunlight now. It is farther away from the sun than Earth, so it needs to absorb a little bit more of the light. Does look like our water has not evaporated away, so that's awesome. We just need to figure out a way to warm it up a little bit. And I think maybe launching a bunch of asteroids at it might help. So let's see what this does. We have a, a bunch of them coming in. 
Uh, plus, we've already hit quite a few. Maybe they're going to miss. I'm not sure. Speed it up. Yes. <laughs> Some of them missed. Oh, that was cool. And it did nothing for a service temperature. Great. That's great. How about we hit it with, the like, straight up the moon now? Um, here it is, the moon. Uh, that's... Uh, maybe not. The moon is, like... Almost the same size as Mars. That would hurt it probably really bad. Or we could smack it with Neptune. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. Oops, I just accidentally put Mars in Neptune. <laughs> oh, wow. What are these other things? Look at this. I don't even know what it is, but I love it. Whoa! That's awesome. I need to make one of those. I feel like we lost a lot of size. Let's check. <laughs> I think it might have gotten a little too small here. Let's put a Mars next to Mars. How did we lose so much size? Our planet just shrunk. Okay, we're eight. 8.7 times bigger than the moon. Yeah, we lost half our planet size. So 8.7. Got it. Nailed it. We have that. That's how. That's in in real life. That's how we terraform Mars. We just uh, push buttons and it gets bigger. So something we could pretend to do is have like a lot of heavy industry. Say we sent the first colonist here to Mars and it was their job to pollute the atmosphere using greenhouse gases. So I'm just gonna, you know, artificially inflate greenhouse gases by yeah 60 degrees that it's above freezing now average surface temp is above freezing yes we're doing it we're doing it okay let's heat it up oh i think we're getting water are we getting water are we getting an ocean speed it up go now i gotta be careful that i don't speed it up too much because we might kill our sun <laughs> the sun might run out of juice inside of it and the battery the big battery will go away it does look like it has a pretty sizable atmosphere now, doesn't it? Check this out. I am on the, I am on it, sort of. Oh, that is a gorgeous sight. The sun coming up over the edge of Mars. Oh, that's beautiful. I think we might need some more water. I think we might. I don't see any Martians living down there yet. Although, it's got a lot more water than Earth does. Let's increase the hydrogen. Oh, no, we just made a hydrogen gas giant now. Whoopsies. I totally messed this whole thing up. Totally messed it up. Now, what we could also do is we can go out into the asteroid belt and we could like hook up some and drive them in here. But I don't think I want to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit Europa again. I totally missed. What happened to Europa? There we go. All right. Hopefully this one works. And third time's the charm. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I love it. Now it's got good water supply. Uh, it didn't get as small. Flop back the magnetosphere on there. I love it. It's amazing. And we'll crank this up. Oh, we want to go the other way, right? Yeah, we want it to absorb as much as possible. I really wonder if I shouldn't hit it with a bunch more so we could wake up its core. Good news is it is warming up a little bit. It's warming up. Oh, okay. Got farther away from the sun again. <laughs> That's what happens when you have orbits. Uh, it warms up. Oh, we're up. Okay, it was this 16. Negative 16, I guess. Give us some good old-fashioned greenhouse gases. That could do it. Let's give it 40. We gave it 40 degrees of greenhouse gases. Yes, we're doing it. We woke it up. We woke it up. And now has a 0.5% chance of having life. And it's 80% similar to Earth. That's pretty good. It does make me wonder, though, if there's too much water. Because if we go to the composition of Earth, it has, like, 0.2% water by, I guess, mass. And we, we have 1% here. So I might need to drop that down. Oh, point a little bit higher. Okay, 0.2. We'll do that. And then we'll see if it changes. I didn't really want to do that that way, but whatever. It'll work. Now, we do have clouds. That's cool. We've got clouds here. There's also... Oh, that dark spot's where we hit it with Europa. Temperature's good. Might have a little bit too many greenhouse gases in there, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Oh, yes. If I turn off the atmosphere, we have land. We have land. We must... We got to drop the water composition down just a little bit, I think. Okay. We're losing some of the water now. It ha it's not burning off in the atmosphere. Oh, are we getting more land? I hope so. Oh, shoot. I took it down even more. We have oceans. We have oceans. Oh, look at this place. Oh, wow. Those are all the, the micro craters. That's cool. Well, I guess they're probably gigantic craters. Oh, we've done it. We've terraformed Mars by hitting it with a planet and you know, a moon, a, a satellite, whatever we want to call it. Oh, but we have continents here. Let's drop it down one more time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did that backwards. Uh-oh. I got rid of its, oh, I messed things up again. I, I gave it extra hydrogen. Now I don't have clouds. Oh no, <laughs> but I got a giant Pangea-like continent here. Oh, that's so cool. I think we've done it. Oh no, it froze over just in that little bit of time. Did we lose, did we lose our heat? No, it's crashing. Temperatures are crashing. 
I'll tell you what, that's the last time I messed with hydrogen. <laughs> we'll just make it a giant hydrogen gas. Yeah, that'll work. Or can I make it a giant water sphere? Oh no, what did I do? Oh, now, now it's completely solid ice. <laughs> awesome. Now, if I crank up the temperature, what happens? Does it melt? surface temp. It'd be kind of funny to watch the entire planet just disappear. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. This is what somebody put on the Steam Workshop. What Mars would look like in its current situation if it uh, had vegetation and clouds on it. Uh, I don't think it's in a solar system here. No, so we can't quite put it on a rotation, but they got cities on here too. Look at this. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it even looks like there's like old remnants of giant canyons on the planet. Oh, it would be so cool to see what it would look like in, in real if we could ever terraform it. Anyway guys, that'll wrap it up for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed this adventure in Universe Sim. If you did, let me know and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.